Hey, what's up guys? Paul here. Welcome back to Hub City Drones. Thanks for stopping by and checking out the videos. I really do appreciate it, guys. If you haven't done it already, don't forget to hit that subscribe and that notify button for me so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And now, if you want to help support my channel, which I would be absolutely grateful for, hit that thank you button down there too. I got a good one for you today, guys. We are going to check out one hell of an impressive drone today. It's EXO's new Black Hawk 2. This dude is awesome, you guys. It has four A20 brushless motors on it, super powerful, a five mile FPV range, and that's at 1080p, thanks to their technology called Synclius 3.0. Similar to what DJI uses, about the same thing, different name really, but we're gonna check it out. I can't wait to see that. A 12 megapixel 4K UHD camera on it, and it sits on a three axis electronically stabilized gimbal. That is really cool, you guys. Level eight wind resistance. That's like 30 plus miles an hour, you guys. And top speed, 35 plus miles an hour. That's quick, you guys. Not only that, it has all the GPS failsafe features built right into it. So if you low battery, lose the signal with the controller or the drone, this dude's gonna come right back to where it took off from, you guys. And what's really cool about that, this dude actually searches for your landing pad to give it a more accurate landing. No more missing the landing pad on your return to home like those other drones do. Pretty impressive so far, right? That's not it though, you guys. Right now when you buy this drone, you get a whole bunch of added freebies to it. The best one, they throw in a free part 107 prep course. That's amazing, you guys. It's like 68 lessons, 12 quizzes. It's the full prep course. Normally, they're like two, 300 bucks online. Now you get it free with this drone. Actually, you get it free with any drone you buy from EXO right now. And they even throw in a one-year EXO premium membership. That's their service, uh, support, all that other good stuff like that. They even throw in a handful of stickers as well and they're not even done there you also get all of exo's LUTs and preset filming editing software super cool deal the price right now on amazon it's kind of up there you guys 6.99 for the one battery deal the two battery deal which is what i have here because you know that one battery is never enough right 8.49 but if this thing performs like i think it's going to and with all of that free stuff the part 107 and everything Definitely gonna be worth that price. As always, I put the link down in the description right now. Let's go unbox this dude and check it all out. And then I'm gonna set it all up and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. There's a lot to learn about this drone. Not hard to learn, just a lot of info. So I know the video, this one's gonna be pretty long, but I have broke it up in chapters, you guys. So if you want, skip to whatever you need to know, no big deal. Then we're gonna take this dude, we're gonna put him up in the air and we're gonna check him out and see what he can do. I'm super excited about this one, you guys. Let's go get started. All right, guys, here we go. What do you say we get this dude out of the box? This is the EXO Black Hawk 2. This is the box that it comes in. It's a rather large and pretty heavy box. Right here on this side, we have, what do we got there? 4K UHD video, 35 miles plus per hour speed, and a five mile range. All right, let's get this dude out of here. Holy cow, I need more room. 
awesome. All right, so. Don't have room for the box over here. Check it out. This is the case it comes in. A little bit of dust on it, but not bad. I like the case, pretty cool. It's got the EXO logo right here, kind of engraved into it. Soft-sided case, it feels really well made though. Looks like we got ourselves a pouch here. We got one on the other side and one on the other side. And we have the EXO Blackhawk 2. Happy flying, it says. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. We're gonna get this dude out of the bag. You guys ready? Are you sure? Here we go. Ta -da! Oh my God, look at that dude. Man, he is so awesome looking, you guys. That's cool. We're not gonna do him yet. I'm gonna make you wait. First, let's see, what do we got here? Oh, all kinds of stuff on the front. Oh, I see the manual. You guys know I'm gonna go for the manual first, don't you? Of course you do. All right, let's check it out. I think that's all the paperwork. So you get an EXO Blackhawk 2 manual. Pretty cool, not very thick. I figured it'd be a lot thicker than this with all the technology this drone has, but it's not bad at all. It's all in black and white. But everything you need to know is in the manual, you guys. Read your manual. Always read your manual, especially with this drone, you guys. There's so much to learn, but not hard to learn. Just a lot of information to take in on this drone. Read your manual, you guys. You know what I say. Don't be a drone dummy. And looks like we get one quick start guide. Cool, it's just a two-page pamphlet. Here's the QR code for a quick start and a walkthrough. Very cool, check that out. On the back, it even has a live chat and it has their support email if you need any help. But little six-step quick start guide. And then you have your legal requirements for flying a drone in the United States. All right here, cool. And check this out, you guys. We get one package of EXO stickers. This is cool. I'm gonna try to open this up. So you know what, I'm just gonna rip it open. How about that? Oh, here we go. I've been waiting to check these stickers out. Let's see what we got in here. If I can get them all out. Very cool. Oh, this is awesome. Check it out. So we get one. Oh, we got a bunch of them. Oh, that's cool. There's a Blackhawk sticker. I just might put this over the logo on the drone. Cool. An EXO sticker in black and in white. What's this one? Help, I'm droning. Oh, that's cool. Look at that, you guys. It says, help, I'm droning. That's cool. And then one here. Carrying case or your car. It says, certified pilot. And then, oh, this one's cool. Got drones? Hell yeah, we do. And if you know what you're doing, you can put this one on your car too and says, I can fly. Little picture of the Black Hawk there on it. Very cool stickers, I like them, that's awesome. All right, what else we got in the front here? Let's pull all this out, because I think these are gonna be most of our accessory stuff, and it is. All right, so you get two sets of blades, you get an A and a B, and you do only get six of each. What? So it's not technically Two full sets, it's almost like a set and a half that you get, per se. Um, but you get six A, six B propellers. Then you have your RC cables, very cool. There are three of them in here. There is a micro, a type C, and a lightning for all you iPhone users. So they thought of everything, they put them all in here for you. And these are what you use to connect your phone to the controller. So don't lose these, you're gonna need them. Is that it? That's cool, we got a little pouch right here. Oh look, I didn't show you guys this, but we got a little zipper on the top. Nothing in there, it doesn't feel like. So over here, what do we got? Oh, all kinds of stuff in this bag, man. Let's see, oh, oh, what is that? Oh, one drone propeller removal tool. Phillips head screwdriver with protective cap on it. Very cool. Well, I didn't mean to slam it down like that, geez. And then we have, so I'll end up getting a case for my drone, one of those pluck and pull foam cases. Um, nice bag, but I'm just not a fan of the bags because everything lays on top of each other. I like it all just kind of next to each other. It's easier to get to, but let's see. What's that? Oh, we get one USB charging cable. It is a micro USB. This is going to be most likely to charge our controller. 
Then we get, here we go. Oh man, this thing's heavy, what the hell? That it, that's everything. One power box for your batteries. This is cool, you don't have to use a charger box or a USB cable, it actually comes with a power box for your batteries. And this is your battery extension cable, I guess that's what you could call it, but this is what you're gonna join the two uh, charging hubs together with to charge your batteries. And I'm gonna show you guys that next because it's right here, I believe. Yeah, that's them, check it out. These are so cool, these are your charging hubs, you guys. It has a USB port right here, so you can put your battery in here and you can actually charge something else like your phone or whatever you want with your battery. I wouldn't do that, it's gonna take the bat, the you know energy away from your battery so you're not gonna be able to fly your drone and that's a little more important, right? Got the EXO logo, you can see here it has an in, I don't know, can you see that? There it is, an in and an out. And you really can't make a mistake because on this extender, there's two different sizes. There's a small size and a big size. So they will only go in the right one. And you just kind of plug it in like so. Plug your other one in to this side. Check it out. And you have your connector and you can turn them so they both face the same way. And then you take your charging cable or box, power box, and you plug it into the inside. I have it backwards, look at that. I'll figure it out. Plug it into the in port. Green, I always go, I mean it has it on here, but I always go green as in on both sides, the little pass sticker here that's on the inside, so it's kind of easier to remember that way. But that's it, you plug them in, and you put your battery in there, and you're good to go. Now it doesn't charge them both at the same time, but it will charge them both. It does one first, and then it does the other one. Why, I don't know, but that's what it does. Speaking of batteries, check this battery out, you guys. This thing is so, I think if I remember right, this battery itself weighs like 350 something grams or something. It's damn battery's heavy, but check it out, we have Hope you guys can see that. There's the Black Hawk logo on it right here. Our power button, you can push it once, shows you the battery level. If you push it again and hold it in, oh, I see I did it wrong. Once, twice, and hold it in. Check it out. That's your power button for your drone. Of course, we're not hooked up. You do the same thing, push it once, push it again. Powers your drone off. You have locking cables right here on both sides or locking cables, locking connectors on both sides. You just squeeze these in and I'll show you that in a minute. But this is a freaking cool battery. It's a massive damn battery too, you guys. It is 11.4 volt, 3800 mAh S3 intelligent battery. What intelligent battery means is this thing communicates with the drone, the app and your phone and the controller, all that stuff. This battery is odd. It's got like an overcharge protection, uh, over discharge protection. So if you're charging it, you don't have to worry about it, you know, getting too hot or overcharging, it won't do it. It has a hibernation mode. If the battery's on for three minutes, it will actually go into hibernation mode and shut itself off. If it has a bad cell in it, it'll actually alert the drone. The drone will then alert the app and you'll get a pop-up letting you know that you have a cell that's gone bad um, in your battery. It even has a short circuit protection program in here as well. So if it detects like a surge in the power or the circuit, it'll it'll shut off and stop charging it right away. Really safe batteries, very cool batteries. Our connectors right here on the bottom. That's pretty damn awesome, dude. This freaking battery is huge, you guys. Guess what? Here we go. Uh, just kidding, I'm gonna hide them because I don't want you guys to see it yet because we're gonna go. This is why I don't like the bags, because you got to dig all the way through everything, and it screws my videos up, man. I go in order. I like to save the drone for last. One controller. So it's a 3.6 volt controller, and check this out, you guys. This controller actually has a bigger battery in it than the drone's battery. This is a 3.6 volt 400 and, or, <laughs> 4400 mAh rechargeable lipo battery inside this controller it's really cool your charger port is here this is the same port as well that you'll use to connect your phone to the controller very cool you get it takes 2.5 hours to charge this dude and 
I'm guessing you probably get close to that in use time out of it as well, about two hours I would imagine. But you may get more because that's a huge battery in a controller and you can feel it, this thing actually has some good weight to it. And you can charge it, five volt, two amp, three amp charger box and use the cord it came with, plug it into your cell phone charger box. You can use the fast charger, charger boxes on as well, as long as it's not over a five volt, two amp or three amp, you're good to go. It won't charge it any quicker, but you can definitely use it. We have two working antennas, and yes, they are both functional, not one and the other for show. They both work. Check this out, you guys. This freaking controller is just cool. Turn it, point them up, check it out. Oh, look, they don't, they didn't put joysticks on it. That's kind of cool. Hmm. Anyway, I'm kidding. They're hidden. I'll show them to you in a minute. This is our camera adjustment wheel over here to adjust our camera. You have your picture taking button here. You have your video recording button right here. This is a function button. Um, I'll, and during the setup, I'll go over this again, but you can change this to do different things that you want it to do. Um, you can have it exit a program you're in, like one of the intelligent features or something like that. And I believe if you hold this in and it beeps, you can turn your camera wheel and it'll actually adjust the brightness on your LCD screen. So if you can turn it down enough where you can still see it, it will save the battery there as well. Remember the brighter this screen is, the more juice it's gonna take out of the battery. But God, I like the weight on this controller, you guys. So here we have the Blackhawk logo on the front your return to home button, your power button, and then your speed buttons here. You have film mode, as they call it, normal mode, and sport mode. Three speeds, 35 plus mile an hour, you guys. This drone is awesome, and I can't wait for the test flight to show you guys this film mode, because you can actually adjust how fast the fastest speed is for forward, backwards, up, and all that stuff. I'll show you, but it's really cool. This thing is gonna take amazing pictures and videos, you guys. But I'll turn it on real quick. It ain't going to show us anything. You press it once, press it again. That will power on. We have connected it and it has found the drone. This screen is going to light up with all kinds of information on it, you guys. It's just super cool. But let's turn it off now and I'll show you guys that when we do it. And there is a protective screen on here. And you can take that off. I leave mine on so it doesn't get scratched. But you can see, you can see through it just with it on there too. So whatever your preference is, do it on the bottom. Not a fan of bottom cell phone holders, but I get it on this controller because of the way they have it set up. But anyway, pull it out. Check this out, you guys. It actually has a pretty decent pullout on it. So not bad at all. It's actually really big and your phone will rest in here. These are rubber grips right down here. And I like that they have the little groove in it because the buttons on your phone don't get mashed when you put it in here. And they have the same thing up at top on the top of it here too. I think you can see that. I don't know if I can get you guys in there to see it, but look, look. Oh, you guys see that? Can you see them? <laughs> There's our joysticks. So let's pull them out and put them on. So they are a little bit of a pain in the butt to pull out of here, but you gotta get your finger in there and really pull it. You know what? No, let's not do that, Paul. Let's use the screwdriver that it came with. That'll work. Oh, look at that. <laughs> awesome. There's one and there's two and there's our joystick nubs and very cool. You just take them and you screw them right on into the little holes on the top of your controller here. One like that and then you put one on here like this. And I apologize again, guys, if I'm going through this unboxing really quick, it's because there's just so much to go over on this drone and I wanna fill you guys in on as much information and know-how as I possibly can, so bear with me. But they're on there, oh, they're really nice too. I like the feel. Wow, it's actually, I'm gonna say it's perfect because they're not too flimsy or loose and they pop right back into place and I love the way they kinda of just ease into place yeah ease it in there baby <laughs> nice that feels really good that's what she said no i'm just kidding <laughs> but that's your controller you guys that's really cool that's awesome all right and again i'll turn it on once we get uh the drone out and we start connecting the drone so i think it's time to do our drone i think that's everything isn't it oh no i did forget something check this out you guys you actually get 
a free spare set of controller nubs very cool so you do have a spare set i'm not sure why you would need these but if you lose one you have backups so make sure you put them in there tight and you don't lose them because you only get two times to lose them and that's it you're screwed you're gonna have to order more <laughs> all right guys i'm gonna get this bag out of our way because it's time for this drone oh my god this thing is a beast you guys this thing weighs a ton it's got so much weight to it but let's undo this dude and check him out very cool little propeller strap protector there and check this out it just folds out like so boom oh my god i love the weight of this drone you guys this thing can definitely handle that level eight wind resistance for sure check this out so you unfold your arms and before i show you that these arms they actually lock into place really well and if you notice the a20 motors that are on this dude the brushless motors they're actually covered you can't see the copper coils that are in the other ones normally you can see into them so these are completely covered which is really cool because that will protect it from any dirt and dust and all that other crap getting in there but check this out you have landing gear that comes out like this check that out look at that dude that is so freaking cool i uh, like this drone so i keep saying how heavy this damn thing is so check this out you guys this drone is 543 grams or 19.5 ounces so yep you do have to register this dude with the faa it's not a big deal though you guys i know a lot of people are like oh i don't want to register it's five bucks i have the link for everything you need down in the description five bucks you get a registration number you're good to go as long as you're not a part 107 pilot you can put that number on as many drones as you own that require registration you can slap them right on there and i actually use this company they don't have a name i guess but I have the link for them in the description where they make pre-printed stickers that you can slap on your drone anywhere. You get three decent sized ones and then you get three little tiny ones on it. And it has your registration number on there. You can put your email, your name, your phone number, and they have a whole ton of different colors um, that you can choose from. I love the company. Their shipping is quick and the labels, they stay on really well. But what I really like, they don't fall off over time, but if you need to pull them off for whatever reason, they come off really easy too and they don't leave a mark on the drone i love that company stickers i'm not affiliated with them in any way i just want everyone to know about them because they it's just awesome um the product they make is really cool and you can even get your trust test through them as well you can't take the test but once you take the test and pass it you can actually get a hard card like a credit card um, with your registration number on one and you get another one that has your trust test certification on it as well trust test if you don't know what that is that is the recreational uas safety test trust test it's not a test it's just a knowledge-based thing all recreational drone pilots have to take it now you guys again i put the link for that in the description too make it as easy as i can for you guys to get this dude and register it and get it up in the air but that trust test is really easy to take you guys it's about i think it's three or four chapters i took mine a while ago so i don't remember but once you're done with one chapter you answer uh, six questions or five or six questions at the end if you miss one it won't let you move to the next chapter but you can go back through it figure out the answer to the one you missed mark it to the answer it's supposed to be and it'll let you move on so like i said impossible to fail so anyway with this dude weighing 19.5 ounces which is just over a pound level eight wind resistance that's 36 miles an hour i honestly believe it could pretty much handle that but remember you guys if you're flying this thing in 20 30 mile an hour winds you're not going to get the full 35 minutes that you get out of the battery each battery gives you 35 minutes of flight time you can see here i have the two battery package hour and 10 minutes um that's pretty damn good for a battery I, i'm impressed with the 35 minutes but let's check this dude out so again we have the a20 brushless motors on it hinged propellers i love the hinged propellers really cool and i love the fact these motors are covered that is really awesome our folding legs are on the front very cool this is a really neat touch too i like that that's just kind of really cool and check this out 
the wiring going into your motor actually has a cloth sleeve over them front and back so everything's really well protected and this thing feels almost it almost to be honest with you feels like it's metal but it's not it's plastic but it's a really thick durable plastic so this dude is really well made you guys so we have our battery on the top and i'll show you guys you just push your little locks right here and the battery pops out like that you have your battery compartment your battery pop it right in and it actually locks in really good you guys check that out Oop, it's in there on this side oh i wanted to show you guys this too so if you guys don't already know it i don't know if i mentioned it earlier but exo and hubson have joined forces so on this drone you can see right here it says exo hubson so this drone used to be the hubson ace it was a drone hubson was going to come out with and for whatever reason i think they released it for a couple weeks and then you couldn't get it anymore and it was out of stock or not available and I'm guessing that's because they were in the works with moving over and joining uh, EXO's team, which is really cool because both of those companies make phenomenal drones. I cannot wait to see what else they come out with next. But it's just great quality made and made in the USA drones. So really cool that they teamed up with each other. So you got some little ports here on the side. And if I can get them open, there we go, check it out. So this is a micro USB port. This would be for your video file transfer. And then right here, you have this little LED light and that will change colors, different things. It's in your manual, so read it. Each color will tell you something, uh, but it will blink when it's transmitting or uploading and all that other good stuff, which is really cool. And I love the fact that they actually put a cover over this. A lot of times you get these and the SD card just slides into the side or the bottom and there's no cover. And that's what this side is, check it out. This side actually has your USB card. It goes right in here up to 128 gig, which is really cool. On your SD card, guys, make sure that it's a FAT32 format, and I would absolutely do no less than a Class 10 U3 SD card. That way it can handle the 4K video that this drone records. That's just so cool. I can't wait to check the video out indicator light here and then this little notch right here i hope you guys can see i'm going to try to get it so you can see it right there that little notch is your bind button now you should never honestly have to use that bind button it's really only for i don't know if your controller breaks or you have trouble with it or you lose it and you have to order another controller that's what you would use to sync the drone and the controller, bind them together. It's done in the factory before you even get the drone, so you shouldn't have to do it. If for some reason it's not binded when you get it, read the manual, it's in there. It's really simple to do to bind it if it's not binded already. Well, binded, binded, binded. Anyway, check this dude out. Let's keep going on the bottom. Check it out, you guys. We have this thing has an actual cooling fan in it. Can you guys see that? That fan, you can hear it when the drone's on and you'll hear it when we turn on, turn on a minute, you can hear it. But it actually has a cooling fan to keep the drone cool. It's super cool and I love the way it sounds too. You have your infrared altitude sensor, very cool. And down here, these are ground sensors for downward and your downward spotlight is right here. So sensors to sense the ground where you're at and, and monitor your height and all that other stuff. That's what give this, this thing such a precise hover height. I think it's, God, I'm gonna say and I'm gonna be wrong, but I think it's like 0 0.03 inches of hover height error, something like that. I'll correct myself later because I think that's wrong. But this spotlight, you can also make this light so it blinks it comes on automatically or it stays on and this little dude is bright when the drone is at a certain height i think it's 15 feet 16 feet that light's going to come on and illuminate the ground and it allows your sensors and your infrared sensors to see the ground and read the layout of the land basically more um these sensors are more for indoor attitude mode flight but this thing is really cool you guys what do you say we check out the camera here we go gimbal cover really cool this is one of the easiest gimbal covers i've ever taken off and put on a drone i have to say that because it's really easy there's two little notches right here and look at that you just squeeze them off it comes and there is our 12 megapixel 
4K UHD camera. It sits on a three axis electronically stabilized gimbal. Super cool. When the drone is on, this camera will stay completely straight when the drone tilts forward, back. It's just so cool. And I'll show it to you in the test flight how great this thing works. That gimbal works so good. You have an ISO range of 100 to 1600. It also has a 3X optical and digital zoom. Super cool. What's really cool too is the video. You can do 4K at 30 frames per second, or you can do 2.7K or 1080p, and they're all at 30 frames per second, which is really cool. And the FPV range on this drone is five plus miles. That's the range of the drone and the FPV range is five miles, and your FPV is transmitted back to your phone in 1080p really cool you guys your video format is mp4 and it's at the h256 and hevc which is really cool and all your photos are in jpeg but this is the drone you guys i'm not going to connect the controller but i want to turn it on real quick so you guys can hear what this thing sounds like when it starts up because it is really cool are you ready That's so awesome. Check it out. Can you guys hear? Look at that. That fan is really moving quick. It's so cool. You can see there, that's the LED light I was telling you about. I don't know if you guys can see it blinking right there. That's actually on the inside. And that was the indicator I was telling you when it's transmitting. Right now it's blinking red. It's waiting to be bind to the controller. But this thing sounds so cool, you guys. Oh. that's everything that comes in the box you guys remember for your one year exo premium membership and for your part 107 prep course i have the link where to go to get that set up it's really easy to do absolutely take advantage of it you guys and once you're in the exo premium you can also download your LUTs and your presets that exo is giving you for free too to edit your videos really cool I see we get this dude set up, you guys, because I am ready to put this dude in the air. So let's get it set up, and I'm going to go over the app with you guys and show you everything you need to know about the app. Let's go. Okay, guys, here we go. I'm going to show you how to set up your Black Hawk 2 so you can get it in the air and fly this dude. So the first thing we need to do is we need to connect our cell phone to our controller. You take your RC cable for whatever phone you have. Remember, it came with the dual micro, and then it has the USB-C to micro, and then it also has the lightning rod connector, or lightning connector, lightning rod, <laughs> okay. Anyway, on the ends of these, you can see here, that one says TX, that's for the controller, and then this one says phone, and that's for your phone. That'll only matter to you if you have a micro connector on your phone as well as the controller does. Otherwise, it will only go one way and you just pop it into your phone. Then you pop it right here into your controller, just like so. They're in there. Now this cable, you can slide it between the controller and your phone. If I can get it to go. It can be a pain in the ass sometimes, but it will go in there and it will. There it goes. Check it out. And then it's folded under and it's out of your way when you're holding your controller. Otherwise, this cable gets in the way and you could pull it out and it's going to tell you USB not connected. But our controller and our phone are connected. Now we're going to connect the controller to the drone. Power on your drone. Remember, two clicks. Press it once. Press it again and hold it. There we go. Then we're going to power on our drone. Same way. Press it once. Press it again. Your LED lights will go up. It's going to turn on. You can see here we have the Black Hawk screen coming up. And now we're connected. All right, now you can see here, if I can get this without the glare, we are connected to the app. The controller is connected. You can see here, check out all the information that's on this controller, you guys. I'm going to get a little closer so you can see it. But there is a blueprint of this in the manual. It tells you what everything is, but you have your number of satellites, your signal strength, your drone level, 
your controller battery level, your height meters, or your height and your distance in meters, your speed, and even tells you the yaw degrees, and all kinds of information on here. And this is all gonna be on your uh, app as well. And I'm gonna show you that as soon as we go into the app, which let's go into the app now, and we'll check out the app, and we're gonna calibrate it, because you do all of that through the app. So we're gonna open up the app next. And it is the Blackhawk 2 app. It's free, of course, Google Play in the App Store. This is what the uh, logo or icon looks like for the app. And now we're gonna open the app. So this is the main screen you have right here, Blackhawk 2. There are four different drones this app uses. It will default to the proper drone. If it doesn't, you can slide it over with your finger to the right drone, but it should default to the drone you're using. We're gonna enter device. Here you have how to pair your device. Some helpful little tips and tricks there. Notices for you know fl flying safe safety flight notifications. Blah, spit that one out. Enter main device. That's what we're going to do here. We're going to enter the main device and check it out. We have video. We are connected and check that picture out, you guys. Freaking pretty damn impressive. Check that out. So we are completely connected and good to go. So you can see here, now this will pop up on you every time you open it as well, device status list. Check this out, it tells you your controller is connected, your aircraft is connected. Go down, it says compass is normal, your gyro and accelerometer, accelerometer damn, I can't talk today, are normal. Optical flow state is poor, that's because I have it on a brown table so it's not picking up the terrain very well. But you can keep coming down, your TOF status is normal, your memory card, your voltage in your battery, the power you have left, and ba battery struggle mode, remaining times is three. That tells you what all this is right here. You got all this good stuff here. So what we're gonna do now is I'm going to show you how to calibrate your drone. It's really, really easy to do, you guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave the screen here and we're gonna hit compass calibration. We're going to tap it. Now you can see this picture comes up on the screen telling you which way to turn the drone. So you're going to take your drone and you're going to rotate it just like it says to do. And as soon as that picture changes, just like it did there, you're going to take your drone. Now you're going to do your vertical part of your calibration and you're going to rotate your drone this way. As soon as that picture goes away, you will be done just like so. And you can see there, calibrated successfully. Now we're gonna go back in here real quick. And this little wheel in the top right hand corner of this app is your best friend, you guys. Everything you need is in here. We're gonna tap it again. All right, so we did our compass. Now we're gonna do our gyro calibration. You're gonna tap this and don't freak out because when it does the gyro calibration, the fan on your drone is gonna shut off. We're gonna tap it. Oh, I got Calibration completion, the fan starts back up, your gyros are calibrated. We're gonna go back into here again. Your IMU calibration. I'm gonna show you this calibration real quick, you guys. You don't need to do this all the time. I would recommend doing it the first time you get your drone and then probably maybe after every eight to 10 flights or so. It's not hard to do and I'm gonna show you how to do it right now and we're gonna go ahead and start it and I'll show you what to do. All right, so you see here on the screen, it says put the aircraft on a fully flat surface. Now it's important that you watch that animated drone on this screen. So we're gonna start our calibration. Your fan shuts off again. Your drone is like so. You're gonna wait for that picture to change and it will change. There it goes, now you're gonna take your drone like so, check it out. And you're going to, if I can do this here, lay your drone on its side just like that. You'll see here the screen will change again. There it goes. Now you're gonna reverse this and you're gonna take your drone and you're just gonna lay it down this way and watch you don't mash your propellers and stuff. Back to the screen, it's gonna tell you the next way to do it. Now you're gonna set him upright. Again, watch you don't mash your propellers. You're gonna set him 
just like that the picture will change now he wants us to lay him on the top upside down we're going to lay him just like that the picture will change again once it detects it and it's calibrated it there it goes now you don't have to rush through this because it won't move on to the next process until you have the drone exactly the way it wants you to have it now we got to take the drone and we're going to put it face down don't worry it won't mess your gimbal up or your camera up just be careful with your propeller blades just like that and you'll see here it's going to tell us that our imu calibration was successful the aircraft starts back up you can hear it and just set him back down like that hit complete back to our app all right let's go back in here because there are a few more calibrations that you need to do the next one is your horizontal calibration you only need to do this one you guys if your drone seems to not be hovering right or drifting a little or something like that again i would do it the first time you get the drone it doesn't hurt so you might as well do it and maybe every eight to ten flights or if you notice the drones just not uh just not hovering right horizontally and it's real easy to do you just tap it it's going to say start calibration your fan shuts off on your drone again your LED light on the bottom will come on and that's it you're horizontally calibrated so since we're in here let's go ahead and go through all these settings real quick you guys because this is what I want all of you to know and understand what everything means so if you slide down here this is where you can set your return to home height this is a really great feature but if you can see it says you can set it to 500 meters do not set your return to home height that high you guys I would go no more than 120 because I believe that's right at about 396 97 feet remember you cannot go over 400 feet even in return to home the drone has to stay below 400 feet this next setting below that this is absolutely a cool ass setting you guys search for landing pad you can see I already have mine on when the drone is in return to home mode and it gets over its recorded home point it's going to take the camera point it straight down and this dude's actually going to look for and lock onto your landing pad and he's going to land his ass right on the landing pad i've never seen such a precise return to home landing ever it is just so cool to do just keep in mind you cannot be recording video when the drone does that or it's going to ask you to stop recording or it won't do it absolutely recommend trying it a few times you guys it is so cool to do next your auxiliary light that's the light on the bottom of the drone you can see here if we hit open it will turn the light on the drone you can keep it off or you can have it blink slowly and this is what it will do when the drone is in flight it won't do it while it's on the ground so don't think you're doing something wrong if you do it now and it doesn't turn on keep it back to automatic anti-wind mode this is what you would use if you were in a really hard stiff wind maybe trying to get the drone back to you or whatnot it just sends more of the power and everything to the drone's motors to keep it stable in the air you're going to lose some of your as it says right here you're going to lose some of the stableness of the gimbal if you have that setting on there's your settings here up at the top i didn't show you this parameter units you can change metric to imperial this is only on the app it doesn't change it on the controller imperial of course is inches feet miles per hour keep mine in imperial waypoint settings dude look at all these settings you guys default waypoint altitude your max waypoint your flight route distance your mission flight default hover time which you can set from what looks like zero to 30 seconds that that dude will go to each point when you do your waypoints and he'll hover there for that long until he moves on to the next one max pause time for each waypoint really cool all right we're going to get out of this one we're going to go down to our next one the circle that looks like a joystick here all right cool check it out i'm going to show you guys the drone check this out he is now going to go into standby mode and he's warning me that he's going to shut himself off here in a minute and this is what it will do so there's nothing wrong with your drone if it starts doing this it just means he's been idling too long and he's like hey do you remember me i'm sitting here let's go fly 
All right, well, I'm glad it did that so I could show you guys that. All right, back to where we were. Let's go to the little joystick circle here. This is, tells you your transmitter model number, your sync lace technology. That's what it uses, similar to DJI. That's what gives the video transmission feed the length it can go. Your joystick settings, you tap on this one. You can change your joysticks on your controller from mode one to mode two. Down here, your operation feel, they call it. This is what you can use in movie mode, you guys. And this is really cool because you can change the maximum vertical speed from 10% up to 100%. So if you have it, let's say we have it on 30%. If you mash that joystick forward, the drone won't go any faster than that. So you don't have to try to adjust the speed that you want the drone to go while you're recording a video. They made it super easy to take great video. You can do your horizontal speed as well and your max heading speed. Down here, allow aircraft to unlock and take off while moving. We're going to get out of here. We're going to go next down here to this little mountain looking scenery below our controllers. This is your FPV settings. You can turn FPV on or off. And it actually has an FPV low latency mode. I would keep it in this on. This will give you a clearer, better transmission of your FPV video. If you're using an older phone though, you may have to turn that off because it may interfere with your screen it could be glitchy and you may not get the drone to go as far and get your video transmission all there is to that one right on down the list the next one here this is our gimbal pitch setting the higher the number here is the faster the camera will tilt so you can even adjust how fast you want that camera to go up and down the one below it you can adjust the time between the time you push the wheel left or right to the time the gimbal or the camera will respond to that and go up and down all kinds of cool settings on this drone you guys your gimbal status ours is normal you can go to advance allow upward gimbal rotation this is cool you guys i'm gonna get out of here and show you i have mine on you can actually take this gimbal and look at this it can look upward really cool if you're flying um say in an area where there's uh, some overhangs power lines trees and you're going under them to do your video You can actually put this up to kind of see what's above you helps you not run into something or to gauge how low you need to be to go under it really cool setting. All right, where were we? Advanced setting the next one is your advanced gimbal calibration If for some reason your gimbal is tilted It doesn't want to stay straight or it's not responding to you the right way you can do a calibration just keep in mind the drone has to be under 65 degrees Celsius in order for that to work or it won't do it. That's those settings. Right on down here to our little earth setting. Aircraft location is always shown at the center of the map. That's your little map in the lower left of your uh, app. And I'll show you that when we go back into the app here in a minute. You can put your latitude and longitude coordinates right on the app screen as well. I keep mine off that's just a whole hell of a lot of more information than I need on my app map type of course it's going to be Google Maps unless you're going on a trip overseas to China or something and you want to use the a map down below that the type of map you want you can do standard I like to call cartoon mode or you can do satellite mode or night mode sample precision of waypoint drawing I usually keep mine all the way maxed at 100 this is what helps your waypoint be more accurate when you're tapping them on your map. All right, bear with me, guys. I know there's a lot of information, but I want you guys to see and understand everything. And the next one, your battery. This is cool. It actually shows you each cell in your battery, what each volt is. And you can see ours are pretty leveled out right there. That's actually really good. Over here, remaining battery, we have 3039 mAh left our total voltage in our battery right now 12.4 that's really good current battery temperature 34 degrees Celsius and it'll even tell you your flight time you have left we're not in the air so it won't do it your smart low battery warning when you have this on your phone is going to vibrate and it's going to let you know that your battery is at a certain percentage and that you need to come home now remember it does have the GPS fail safe features in it so this battery actually calculates how long it took for you to go your max distance and how long it's going to take it to come back. It's going to take all that information when the battery gets to a point and this drone's like, oh, wait, I only have enough gas to make it home. 
it's going to tell you to bring it home or it's automatically going to go into return to home mode and come back to you really cool our battery set it, status normal hit more check this out tells you the number of cycles the battery code and the battery version number that's all there is on that down here this little clover looking thing i think it's supposed to be a drone but we're going to open it you can have your screen rotate if you need to turn your phone I don't know, upside down for whatever reason status device list will pop up automatically after detection that's on those are your on-screen prompts the app actually talks to you too it's really cool novice guide this just opens up a little mini uh, diagram of the app your version number under here is where you can go and you can check for your updates all you gotta do is click it it'll tell you you're updated click the next one it says you're currently updated really quick cool thing about this drone or exo in general they are constantly updating their app and their drone software really easy to do they're all ota updates so all you got to do is connect your phone and the controller and your drone hit upgrade and it will download all the software to the app or your drone automatically it's really easy to do all right your aircraft serial number and your remote control serial number all there those are all your settings you guys i would recommend getting when you're waiting for the drone download the app open the app up and go through all of these tap everything slide this slide that move this move that get used to how everything on the app works that way when you get your drone you're kind of familiar with it and you're not wasting all your time trying to figure something out but let's close this and check out the actual app screen check it out really cool picture very clear we're just going to start at the top and we'll work our way around you guys all right so now it says preparing to take off but we're in my house so i'm not going to take off you have the exo logo if you tap that it'll take you out of the app this red line right here this is preparing to take off this will turn like a light bluish shade uh blue green tell you you're flying it'll tell you when you're returning home it's all your status prompts are there low battery it even has pop-ups that will pop up on the left side of the screen here to let you know you know if there's an issue with the drone or what you're doing as well your n that's the mode you're in we're in normal mode right now your speeds so it'll be an f for film s for sport i think i can change it for you yeah look at that s for sport there's the pop-ups i was telling you that slide out of the left side of the app really cool film mode the next one is your flight status then off here that propeller that will let you know your motors are running so if they're on and they're running that'll say on then you have your fpv video strength your remote control signal strength really cool it has the bar so while you're flying this thing you'll know when you're going to start losing your video feed or even the signal from the controller to the drone because these bars will fall off like they do on your cell phone when you don't have great reception your satellite of course that's the number of satellites you have and i do believe you have to have eight or nine or more in order for it to unlock and take off in safe gps mode usually there's seven i think this one's eight or nine next you have your battery percentage level left it even tells you the voltage in your battery 12.35 volts very cool your iso setting is right here now we're going to get into some more settings you guys because this thing absolutely has all kinds of extra settings you can do with your camera and your video to make that perfect picture or video so the sliders right here tap on these and now you're in your camera's settings so not only does the drone have its own settings the camera does too auto you can put it into manual if you do that you can change your iso your shutter speed you can even change the ev i'm going to put mine back to auto go one more below that to the camera here now you can choose your shot mode you have single shot continuous shot image of burst shots you can slide this all the way up to eight shots and when you press the camera button it's automatically going to take eight quick burst shots just super cool your time photos you can open this and you can set all the way up to 30 seconds between each photo um, you'll push the button and it'll wait and it'll take another uh, picture in 30 seconds see if i can get that to close your panoramic video all right it wants us to take off for that one so we're going to go back to single shot panoramic when you have the drone near and you tap that 
the drone's actually going to take pictures and the drone's going to turn in a complete circle to give you a panoramic shot. It's super cool to do. I'm telling you guys, this thing's loaded with stuff to do. All right, let's check out these little dots. Here's more settings. You can change your white balance, your saturation, your brightness, your sharpness. It even has H-Log, which is really cool. You can put a grid on the screen. There's a grid or there's a grid line with the X on it. You can see it right there. Really cool. I'm going to get out here. And then you have your memory card capacity. It tells you what's, how much room's left on your memory card. And you can format your memory card right here as well. Just remember, if you format it, it's going to clear everything on your uh, SD card. Now I'm going to switch it over to video. Oh, check it out. It actually says we're ready to fly. We have nine satellite signals indoors. Ooh, that's pretty damn good. So let's switch our camera over to video. Now it says switch to video mode. Now tap the sliders again. Again, you have your ISO, your shutter speed. Tap the video camera. Here's where you can change your resolutions, you guys. You can do 4K at 30 or 25 frames per second. You can hit 2K, same thing, 25 or 30. 1080p at 25 or 30. And for whatever reason, if you want to take a 720p video, you can do that one as well in 25 and 30. I keep mine at 4K. I don't know why anybody would want anything different than that. Go here to these little dots again. You can change all your brightness and all everything there again as well. We're going to get out of here. All right, below your camera and your video camera there, of course, this is where you start it. It'll start taking video. Hit pause. It's done. Below this, this is your album. When you open this up, it'll show you all the pictures you've taken and then all the videos you've taken. And I have a few here and they will download. Give them a few seconds. And then here's where you can offload your videos to your cell phone or from your SD card. They'll all be in there. Or you can play them and watch them. Check it out. Oh, there we go. I'm doing the drony shot right there. Check it out. Great video. All right, enough of that. You guys don't want to see my face on there. All right, out of there. Anyway, that's where you go to get your videos and your pictures. This little slider, if I can get it to work. This is what you can do to move your camera without using the wheel. You can just use the little pointer buttons there. Now, it will only go up so high with that. If you want to look upward, you have to use the wheel. This little gimbal looking picture above that, you can tap this. This can correct your horizontal uh, leveling of your gimbal. If it's tilted or whatever, you can go minus plus change the tilt of it down below real simple you have your distance and your height you can see there ours is in feet your miles per hour then over here is your little mini map this is where you are in comparison to your drone in which way your drone is facing but you can tap that little circle and you can put it in satellite mode really cool i'm gonna get up put it back to this one all right then above your map here it's shaded right now because we're not up in the air this is your one key take off and land button when you unlock the motors that will be highlighted and you can tap that and the drone will lift up in the air or when you're in there you can tap and of course your drone will land now we're going to tap this little drone icon under our black hawk 2 wording and check it out these are all the fun settings you guys these are all the different camera shots and video shots you can do with this drone you have normal mode which is what we're in now but you can take and put hyperlapse it has your waypoint mode orbit mode and we're going to go through a lot of these and i'll show them to you in the test flight because they're just amazing at how well they work you guys follow me mode that has active track and follow create a video this has all, oh, it wants me to take off first. I'll show it to you in the test flight. Create a video, there's all kinds of things you can do in there. Your line fly mode, um, droney, orbit, uh, just all kinds of really cool video uh, settings that you can do to take really cool, amazing videos, you guys. But that's it, you guys, that's the app. I hope you understood everything. Remember, if you have any questions, just shoot me a comment or you can find my email in my channel description and email me i answer all my comments and emails and i'll help you guys out the best i can to get this drone set up and going right now we're gonna go get this badass in the air and check him out let's go 
All right, guys, here we go. It's finally time to get this dude in the air. I'm going to put him up. We'll go through the speeds. We don't have great weather today, uh, but I'll show you the camera and the different speeds, and then we'll go through some of these really cool uh, things you can do to take videos and pictures with. It's really cool, but let's get him in the air and check him out. Here we go. Joystick takeoff. Here we go. Oh. That's cool, you guys. I have the joystick completely mashed forward right now, the left one. And look how slow it went up. And I love the way the power in the motor just wound up before it took off. That is really cool. Check this dude out, you guys. Wow, it sounds really awesome. You can see our gimbal right there. Check that out. Staying nice and still, even forward and backwards. Look at that. Get over here. I want you guys to hear these motors. These motors are awesome, you guys. Woo, that's putting off some major wind, too. That's cool. All right, well, let's check it out. Right now, we're in speed one, which is film mode. And this is the speed on film mode. Perfect, nice, slow, steady speed. Uh, just a great speed for video. Check that out. I'll fly over in film mode so you guys can see it. Nice slow turn too, just great for video. That's freaking awesome. All right, I'm gonna show you what speed one or film mode looks like through the camera. So I'm gonna bring the app up and show you guys what you see on your FPV view in film mode. Here we go. Well, check that out, nice and slow. Great picture on here. Our gimbal pitch is really great. And look, this is the look upward part of it. That's cool. Look at that. See some of the prairie dog holes out there? Maybe we'll see a prairie dog today. That's really cool, you guys. Great camera on this drone. Damn. Nice steady turn, descent, beautiful picture. Getting a little interference there as you can see. And there's our drone. All right. Let's go ahead and go into normal mode now and check that speed out. There, we're in normal mode. You can see the spin is a little quicker. And this is what it is. Oh. So normal mode is quicker, not a whole lot quicker, but... Oh, we're gonna have to check this one out through the camera too. This is probably great video too. Oh. Wow, he turns great. All right, let's check out normal mode through the camera. I'm gonna get him over here a little bit. Here we go, through the camera. That's awesome. Well, even the turn is great in, in normal mode. Check that out, you guys.
that's really cool. All right, I'm gonna get him up here just a little bit more. And we are now going to go into sport mode. All right, we're in sport mode. Here we go. Whoa. Damn, sport mode is really quick. Oh, he turns great. Listen to the motors, you guys. The motors are crazy. <laughs> this drone is badass, you guys. Here we go, fly by, gonna buzz my head. Oh shit! Oh my god, that is freaking so cool. All right, we're gonna check out sport mode through the camera now. Here we go. All right, bring it up a little bit, and here we go. That's cool, and the drone is actually tilted a little bit right now, but look how still that camera stays, you guys. That's awesome. All right, I'm gonna put it back into film mode because I'm gonna take him up here a little bit. I can't get over how powerful the motors are on this drone, you guys. These are some amazing freaking motors on this thing. But, I'm gonna shoot him up. I don't know, we're just gonna go up maybe two, close to 300 feet. I'm gonna spin him around and I'm gonna let you guys see this camera. We'll check out the FPV view first. Then I'm actually gonna show you what it recorded to the SD card in 4K. So this is gonna be awesome. Here we go. Look at that nice, easy descent too. And now this is film mode. He'll go faster if you're in normal or sport mode. Oh. Wow, I really like the ascend on film mode. It's nice and slow. I'm going to back him up here a little bit. We're still going up. He's up there too. All right, let's switch over to the app. As you can see, we're at 110 feet. Now I'm gonna stop him real quick and I'm gonna switch it over to normal mode. Watch how quick he'll go up now. I'll take him up to 200 feet this way. Watch this. Check that out. God, that is a gorgeous picture on my cell phone screen, you guys. Check that out, that's awesome. All right, I think I hear or feel, not hear, some rain coming. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna put him back in film mode I'm going to spin them around so you guys can check out the camera. Now that's the speed with the joystick fully mashed, you guys. Check that out. All right. Now I'm going to hit record. And this is from the SD card. Wow, I like the way you could control the speed with the joystick. That is really cool. Wow. God, just incredible video, you guys. This camera, there's the transition up and down with the wheel. And check that out. Straight down, there I am. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna put it into expert mode and we're gonna bring him down and check this out. Boy, he comes down quick. Let's see, normal mode, sport mode? Yeah, I am, okay. Well, that's a quick descent right there. And there you can see our drone coming down. Oh. All right, we'll put him in normal mode. I 
And I'll tell you, normal mode's not bad at all, you guys. That is really cool. All right, what do you say we check out some of these features that it can do to record video? I'm gonna open up some of those video features, so we're gonna hit our little drone. Create a video. All right, tell me I'm too low. Let's try that. There we go. All right, let's do the fly to sky. This is really cool. Check this out, watch. So we're gonna tap it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna adjust this camera a little bit more. But watch this, I'm gonna draw a box around myself here and watch this. And we'll just go up a little bit, there we go. And then you're gonna click go right on the middle of your box there. Check this out, you guys. That is so cool. So you can adjust how far up you want him to go, how far away basically. And look at that, he's staying right locked onto us, right in the center of the screen. How hard we? Oh, we had him about 88 feet. Says it's done. Now he's going to come right back to where he started from. And you can see him there. Here he comes. Oh, I'm really, really impressed with this drone, you guys. This is super cool. And there he is. He stops. And you're finished. All right, here we go. We're going to do another one. Ready? Let's do the droney. I really want to see the droney. Oh, you know what? Let's check out this auto drift, you guys. I have not checked that one out yet. I'm going to make sure I have plenty of room here to do it. But let's see how that one works. All right, our battery's getting low, so we need to hurry. So let me see here. Let me get me in the center. I'm going to turn him just a little bit here. All right, here we go. Ready? Auto drift. Auto drift right. Auto drift forward. Let's do auto drift right. Hit go. Oh, he's taking pictures. That's cool. Check him out. So now when you do these pictures, like the sphere picture and all that, so there he is. He must be done. So let's look back at the app. Yep, it's done. When you do those, you have to... Uh, come up with a third-party software to stitch all your uh, pictures and stuff together. It doesn't have any kind of program to do that on the drone or the app itself. So you'll have to use a third-party. All right, I want to try one more. I want to do the droney because I really like this one. This is really cool, you guys. Check this out. All right, I got to get the camera up so it's on me. All right, there we are. So I'm going to draw a box around me. And we're just going to go, we'll just do right there is good. I don't want to go too far. We're going to hit go. Now check this out. He backs up and lifts up at the same time. So he goes up in the air as he backs up from you. That is really cool. And you can see here, I'll show you the drone. Now he's coming back to where he started the drone he shot from. All right, so on normal GPS drones, you have the follow me, the point of interest, uh, and the waypoints. So let's go ahead, and I'm gonna try this active track on this drone, the follow me, and see how well that works. So let's go ahead and open that one up and check it out. So follow me, I'm gonna do active track. And look at there, it's got a little under, little instruction thing, tells you what to do, understood. All right, and we're just gonna do trace right here on me and we're gonna hit go and I'm gonna start walking and we're gonna see what he does oh check it out he is absolutely keeping up with us let's stop and go back and fool him nope oh look at that you guys this is really cool all right let's switch it over to the orbit I want to see what that one does all right hit stop we're gonna open it up our battery's getting low so I want to hurry up but let's check this out active track understood we're gonna hit orbit and we're gonna go this way and we're gonna hit go right is that what we got to do all right here we go check this out so now you can walk he locks on to you and he's going to circle around you at the same time that is really cool and check him out 
He is booking right now. I'm gonna stop. Wow, and he's keeping us right centered into the frame. All right, let's stop him. He's hauling ass. Woo, he's done. Ha, <laughs> shit. All right, 27%. Let's try orbit mode here real quick. All right, we want that. We're going to do our remote. Radius 12 meters. That's good. And now check this out. You can change the speed. We'll go quicker. And we're gonna hide this and check him out, you guys. You can see our battery warning popped up again. That is a great orbit. You can move your camera, adjust it ever, however you want. And I really like the fact that it will lock onto the controller or you can have the orbit where the drone is actually currently at. So let's stop him. All right, I'm going to take him out here, you guys, and we're going to do the return to home because we are losing our battery. And then, Low battery warning. yep, the I hear you. Return to home soon. All right, I hear you. All right, we're probably good right about there, so let's check out the app. So return we're, to home. oh, it's, look at that. The battery went low and it's automatically going to return to home. I'm not recording, so it should find the landing pad and I'll put the drone camera on now so you can see what it looks like through the app so he raises himself up this is to the preset height and I like the fact he turns around and comes back to home forward that is cool and look how high up he is you guys god that's awesome and you can see here he's adjusting himself now he's going to come down and when he gets to a certain height he should point that camera down and look for the landing pad if i remember right i do have that set in my settings there he goes look the camera went down searching for the parking apron that's the landing pad now watch this look at that he is locked on to the landing pad. I'm gonna go back to the drone so you guys can see how close he actually gets to it. And right now he's actually adjusting himself. It looks like he may be off a little bit. Oh, maybe not. Oh my God, that was awesome, you guys. That was super close. That, you guys, is Exo Hubson's Black Hawk 2. This is one badass drone you guys let's wrap this video up i'm gonna give you my final thoughts on this dude okay guys time for my final thoughts on exo's black hawk 2 you saw it for yourself you guys this drone is absolutely impressive just blew me away out there it flies like a dream you guys it handles so well in the air all three speeds are really cool and sport mode that was fast that was super fun to fly in sport mode film mode perfect for video you guys saw it it's just absolutely the right speed to take video with i love the transition of the camera up and down it's nice and slow and perfect and remember you can change that speed to your liking as well in the settings plus the return to home blew my mind, you guys. This thing actually looked for the landing pad, locked onto it, and then it landed itself right on the landing pad. That was impressive in itself, you guys. All around, now that I've flown it, definitely worth the price that they have on this drone. Remember, $699 for the one battery, $849 for the two battery, but don't forget, you guys, all that freebies you get with it. The part 107, the one year of EXO, all the editing software, the free stickers all around definitely a great deal you guys definitely a five star drone hell i'm going to give it 10 stars to be honest with you i would absolutely recommend this drone if you're wanting to up your drone game and move to that next level and to be honest with you you don't have to be an expert drone pilot to fly this drone it's really that easy to fly you guys i'm charging the batteries i'm going to go put it back up in the air and have some more fun that's going to do it for this video you guys thanks for watching remember hit that subscribe and that notify button and support my channel and hit that thank you button for me too i would absolutely appreciate it guys have fun stay safe out there and remember 
Don't be a drone dummy.